So let's try and make our first web application and let's see how it goes. I'm pretty excited here. I think it's going to be great. So what I need you to do is go into github.com and we're going to search for something called the Angular full stack. Let's just do a dash there. It's right here. Search for that one on GitHub's page here and you'll actually see one called Angular full stack generator Angular full stack. Now this is the tool that Daft Monk, you can actually see his demo down here. He started this and now a lot of other people have helped develop um, continue the development of this. So this is what we're going to use and it's a way for us to generate a full web application using a single command or a few commands at least. So we're going to um, try and figure out how to get this installed. And if you scroll down, this is, this is the way for us using uh, GitHub to show all the code inside this Angular full stack. This is not the code we're going to use, but the things inside this code is actually helping us develop the web application. So we're going to scroll down and see how to get this started. And I'm just scrolling down to the usage part in here. And it says you need to install Yeoman or Yo Grunt, which is, uh, yeah, let me get into what the tools are later. Bower and then this generator, which is actually the, the one we're seeing right here. So we have to write this right here. npm install dash g, that's for globally. That means we want it to be installed so anybody can use these in their projects from now on on this machine. And then we need to install Yeoman, Grunt, Bower, and this full stack tool. So let's try and run it. I've opened my git bash. Let me just shut that down for now, just to show you again. So I'll go into git bash. There we go. And let's see if we can find the root here. So I'm at users. I'm at the C drive. I write CD JS web apps. And now I'm in my web apps folder. And in here, I'll create a folder. Actually, first, let's install these globally because it really doesn't matter where I'm actually at. So I could have done it from the root as well. But I'll install these globally just by pasting npm install in and writing the exact same thing. And what will happen is it'll install these four different tools that we need to generate this Angular full stats stack setup. So let's see what happens. I'll try to run it now. And this will take a bit of time. And while it installs this, let's talk about the npm install. Let's look at npm. This will take a second. So I'll open up browser again. I'll just Google for npm, what that's all about. It's the Node Package Manager. So already in the name, you can hear something to do with Node.js. And actually what it is, is a way for us to have a lot of packages online that in the cloud that we can pull down as we need them. So we have a tremendous amount of free available plugins here. You see there's 220,000 different packages built by different peoples. So some of them are great, some of them are not so great, some of them are outdated, but everything we require to build a web application is in here. So this is a place where I can just download whatever I need to make my project. And we'll do it later. We'll try to do some of these pull down things like, well, we are already pulling down Bower now. So let's try and see what Bower is all about. Let's open it and, and see what it says. Bower offers generic on opinionated solution to the problem of fronted agent package manager. So this is actually another package managed system, but this is more for front end where the NPM we're looking at right now is for back end packages mostly. Um, so express is also in here. Let's try and open that one. So this actually shows you how to use express. So you could try this if you want to make your own web server and try and run this. We can, we can actually do it later, maybe just to see it in, in action. But here again, there's an installation guide. There's a small, um, fast, unopinionated, minimalistic web framework. So there's a lot of information about how to use this, what Express is all about. And if I want to use it, I'll just write, oh, sorry, I didn't want to go that far out. Let me just go back here. If I want to use this, I can just write npm install Express. And then it'll actually automatically go and install this in my folder for use later, okay? So that's what NPM is, a huge package system online. That's not something new. We have the same thing for c -sharp development, that's called NuKit package uh, system. And that's actually a place where you can also download a lot of packages that other people built or Microsoft provided for you. 
and they're actually out there for every type of uh, software that we're writing. Java also has a package system out there, so they're out there for almost everybody. And this is the one we're using, the NPM, um, which is Node Package Management. So now the, the Angular full stack is actually installed. So if I go back here, this part of preparing for creating our full stack application, full stack JS web application is ready. 